Good morning, everyone. My name is Melanie, and welcome back to A Slice of Heaven Homestead. This morning, I wanted to walk you through how I prepare my grow pots for planting my fall seeds. We'll be tearing out the old and getting ready for the new. First thing we have to do is get rid of some of these plants that aren't producing anymore. Now ideally, on a homestead, none of this would be wasted. It would go to chickens, pigs, goats, even just the compost. But uh, we're not allowed to have compost here, so it's off to the garbage. Now I do have irrigation in all of my pots. I'm going to go ahead and take that out for now while I am in the soil. Now I will be amending the soil in the grow pots that I already have going back here. I'll be filling and making three new um, starter pots today, which I think I'm going to be planting garlic and onions in later. But I have everything that I need to go ahead and make those. This is uh, what I think is peat moss. <laughs> Again, everything's in Japanese, so it's, it's all kind of a guess out here. So peat moss, some potting soil, and also some, hopefully, <laughs> steer manure. Now Gary from the Rustic Garden has a great soil recipe, so I am using his, his recipe here. Um, but I will also leave a link to his YouTube video in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Now first off, we are going to mix one part manure, one part potting soil, and one part peat moss together. Now the peat moss helps to retain water in the soil and the manure adds nutrients to the soil. Now along with the potting mix, the manure and the peat moss, I'm also going to be adding some calcium into the soil. One of the things that I have here is crushed up eggshells. Now that that will decompose over time and give a good amount of calcium. But I'm also, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of this magnesium lime. Now I'm going to incorporate some of this well-balanced fertilizer into the soil mixture. As you can see, the fertilizer has numbers, three numbers, 16, 16, 16. The first number indicates nitrogen, the second indicates phosphorus, and the third indicates potassium. Now you'll see different fertilizers with 555, five, five, 
9179. It's always the same order, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, the smaller number, say like a like a 555 five, five compared to we'll say 10 10 10 cuz that's easy. It just means that the 555 five, five is half as concentrated as the 10 10 10. But they still have the same balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. I'm just going to take a, a good sized handful and mix that around. When I plant my fall seeds, I will be incorporating a different kind of fertilizer into each of the pots. Now nitrogen promotes leaf growth uh, through photosynthesis. The phosphorus helps with flowering and root growth. And the potassium helps with uh, getting water and nutrients to where it needs to be in the plant. Some plants thrive on a well-balanced fertilizer whereas others need a slightly imbalanced one. So you'll see on the video where I'm going to plant my fall seeds, um, I'm going to be planting some garlic, onions, and carrots. Those are all root vegetables and they need a higher amount of phosphorus, very little nitrogen. So I'm going to take my first planter here. I have some woven cloth sheet. Now this is this is the stuff that just completely disintegrated off of my lettuce. Um, so I'm just going to use this to line the bottom of my planters here so that the soil will stay in the planter. Now one thing that I've had to learn here is how to bolster up your soil. Here, I'm just going to use some dead dry leaves. small twigs and stuff they're okay they're great they'll actually hold on to some moisture in the soil but they will also eventually break down now before we apply the soil into the pots we actually need to get it wet the peat moss in here is great at holding on to moisture but when it comes in the package it comes dry is good when you can squeeze it and it kind of holds its shape. I like to work it down into those leaves just a little bit. So that's it for the planters. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. Now I have to go to my grow pots and amend the soil in these. I have a layer of dead leaves on the top um, to act as mulch to hold in the moisture. Last year, I did not do that and well I only had two tomato plants and they uh, they suffered a lot they could not hold the moisture in because it's so hot here that the water would just evaporate and they got pretty pretty crispy but I'm very very pleased with how the leaves have held in the moisture into the soil and it was free
Now I am just gonna go ahead and incorporate a couple of handfuls of this manure. And just a little bit of the balanced fertilizer. Just go ahead and work it in. And there you go, it's all ready for planting. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these other pots that I have over here, and I'm gonna call it a day. Well, the sun's almost on me over here and it's starting to get really hot, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Spread a little kindness and encouragement today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, we hope you find your slice of heaven too.